<laughs> you know you love it. And that's the first Thank you for tuning in to TalkWad.com, the world's fastest Kevin, growing internet even. radio network. Please check out all the other great shows on www.talkwad.com. <laughs> One of these days, we'll get it right, dude. It's all right. <laughs> Welcome back, my friends, to another psychotic episode. Glad to have you here. Hope you're ready. Everyone is very excited for tonight. I like that, man. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Balls Deep with Dan. I am your host, Dan. These are just a bunch of freaking idiots right here, man. <laughs> Random crew. Uh, I love it. Uh, to my far left, we got Freshus. Can't really see me. AKA bitch tits. <laughs> <laughs> we can see you. It's okay. Cool. Yeah, AKA yeah. Oh, I don't mind. Precious. I don't mind. That's all right, man. To my. To my Whoa, hello. See your weenus. Mm-hmm. It's okay. That's about it. <laughs> like his weenus. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey. Now Dustin's, now Dustin's gone. Dustin's, Dustin's gone. <laughs> yeah, go back. Sorry. Dustin's more important. You just pan, you just pan <laughs> it out. Whatever. Hey. No, that's fine. Hey, so uh, I'm back, guys. I'm back. Oh, we know. Perfect. To my immediate left Love here, it. we've got um, the real human shit. As he likes to be called. What's oh, up, hey, baby? You know, right. Tell Santa how good you've been. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, me and Dustin are over here. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, the two, the two lovers here. We got uh, Baker to my sorry. right. We're gonna get him to have sex. And uh, I'm Dustin. And, and uh, Dustin, aka D Balls, there. D Balls. Yeah. That's what I like to call him in my off lab. time. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to our uh, insanely our show? stupid show. Yeah, <laughs> promise we're that professionals, thing? man. You guys are ridiculous. He's a professional. <laughs> He's a professional. I'm not yeah. at all. No, I, I dig that. Let's uh, we'll dive right in to our first topic here for the evening. Um, everyone has a fear, uh, something that they're afraid of. You know what I fact. mean? Fact, big time fact. And tonight's first topic <clears throat> of discussion is: What is your biggest fear? As always, I'll start right here with the real human shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Saved you. You're Thank welcome. You. Think about that. Um, well, my biggest fear is sex with a clown. <laughs> and I, uh, that fear came about because I used to watch, well, like when I was like in third grade, I don't know why you'd ever show a child this, but I watched It and It too. It's completely, really super fucked up movies if they you've never the seen them. One? There is, yeah, dude. The second, second one's one. just as crazy. Yeah. Jesus. It's like a little what little I'm, more psychological. What I actually. want to know is if you were in third grade at the time, why are you thinking about sex? Well, Let alone <laughs> sex with a clown, dude. Second part of oh. the story. <laughs> so I didn't let you finish. No, my bad. okay. And then, uh, you know, I grew older and I fell in love with a man. Uh, <laughs> his name also was Tim, and... It was Tim Meadows from Saturday Night Live, <laughs> and uh, he, you know, made a movie called right. The Ladies' Man. If you haven't seen it, what the fuck are you doing with your life? <laughs> um, but uh, in that movie, he ends up fucking a clown. She's in full clown getup, wearing the rubber nose and shit. They're just like banging it out in the dressing room, and she's like, "Ooh, bubbles like honk honk, like shit yeah. like that." It really, you know, that kind of just changed. That's, I haven't seen that movie in a while, <laughs> but I guess I must have mentally blocked that part out because I don't. I don't remember that it. at all. I don't blame you for blocking Gotta rent that, that one. Out. Right on. Yes, now, yeah. and, Did he buy and, her a fish sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Can I buy you a fish sandwich? Um, I don't think so. I don't think he did. <laughs> oh, so, God. like, the, um, in your uh, your incredibly weird phobia here, do you, 
Is this a, a happy clown or a sad clown? Does it have the smiley face? I don't think face it matters, or the... honestly. Oh. Um, to me, I just hate every... You know what? There's one <laughs> clown out there that did break that chain for me, and it's Captain Spaulding. Like, I fucking love Captain Spaulding. <laughs> he is right. <laughs> yeah, All I, right. that's so. So, I mean, that's really the only... I would have sex with him, but no other clown. <laughs> True. True. What about Bozo? No Bozo? I've... Crusty, uh, I'll tell you, no. Crusty, that's Krusty. borderline. <laughs> that's a good, I never, uh, I never really thought about it before, but now that you say it, I would say that would probably be my biggest fear is being raped by Ronald McDonald. There you go. <laughs> he is a freaky <laughs> looking clown. He's after man. your McNuggets. <laughs> he's, he's coming hard. Give me that McRib. That's why Grimace quit the show. <laughs> 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 that big purple fluffy the motherfucker purple bastard. <laughs> <laughs> digging deep in the McRibs. Yeah, right on. <laughs> nice. All right, uh, Baker, how about you, man? Biggest fear. Oh, uh, I would have to say walking in on my parents. Ooh, yeah. That's got to be. That's like my most horrific nightmare <laughs> that I could ever possibly imagine. As far as I'm concerned, they have never had sex and will never have <laughs> sex ever. I'm you not you were ever. Your, your test tube. Uh, I was <laughs> test tube shat <laughs> onto a stump. In the park by a crow. Yeah. And, uh, by, a crow? by a crow. You don't even use Not like even the stork. stork. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, nah, I wasn't cool enough for the stork. I gotta get the shitty crow. Well, I mean, if you get on a movie, The Crow, I like to feel like I have, you know, some sort of a deep connection with, <laughs> with, right, with right. crows everywhere. But yeah, that's my biggest fear is uh, watching my parents fornicate. Mm. <laughs> so. Is it like you have to watch them the whole time until they get off? No, or? just yeah. like even seeing yeah, it for are you there a for the second. Money what if it was just even if I just money. open the door? I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I would. That's yeah. that's all it takes. Yeah. Three seconds. Uh, Instant blind. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I told you to not class. Yeah. Uh, all right. What about you over there, D balls? Uh, mine's actually frightening. It's, uh, <laughs> Wait, walking in on your parents is frightening too, man. Yeah. I would, I would. People have sex. That's what they do. <laughs> I mean, hopefully, in a you know healthy marriage. Well, right. <laughs> I don't but, think that's uh, true. I don't think healthy marriages have any sex at all. Right. Yeah. Oh, healthy oh, marriages shit. nowadays just get divorced. That's a healthy <laughs> marriage nowadays. <laughs> See ya. It was nice. <laughs> that was a good three years. I'm out. The honeymoon's all she wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it while you get it. No, mine. Uh, uh, home invasion, seriously. Ooh, oh, yeah, that's man. pretty nice. I am fucking terrified that I'm gonna be dead asleep one night. And I sleep hard, man. I, I sleep through fucking anything. Wait, like so hard? I mean, like hard? real hard? <laughs> yeah. Hard? Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that Bo- makes it a lot ways. easier for <laughs> hard and hard. A masked but, man to have his way with you. That's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> true. Pitching a tent. Don't wake him up. Don't wake him up. Shh. 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 Leave him alone. Shh. It's good. It's good. Uh, no, uh, yeah, just somebody coming in in the middle of the night. Um, me either not hearing it and it's too late to, I mean, because think about it. You wake up, you're like half awake, you're stumbling through a dark room or a dark hallway, you know, and you don't know who the fuck's out there. I mean, like, I've even, like, I when I've had roommates and stuff, I've had, you know, like where I have to, uh, you know, sneak through a window because I forgot my keys or some shit and, you know, or whatever, and you have to break right. into your own okay, house. Okay, so you know? what if you woke up in the middle of the night and it was a clown breaking into your house? How about yeah. that? Trying to have <laughs> sex with you. <laughs> trying to have a clown breaking into your house a and trying to have his way with your... Uh, breaking would... into your house. <laughs> <laughs> your parents, your parents, your parents dressed as clowns. Clowns. They're fucking and they fall through the window. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as Tim's there and it's not, you know, Captain Spaulding, I think I would hear a girly scream. Scream for help. Oh, yeah. No, I would wake you the fuck up, dude. <laughs> You'd be going out there with, like, a pillow and a, and a you know, like a spoon or something to defend. A pillow and a honors. spoon? Yeah. Well, Neither one of those are very threatening all at all. <laughs> it's a shield and a sword. But I know. Oh, like, okay. uh, like, you it's know, a middle of the night version. You know when you wake up, like, in the morning, you're, you, you know, like... Have you ever, like, I mean, something as simple as, you know, if you, like, go to open a can of soda and you're just like, I can't do it. Like, my <laughs> fingers don't work right now. No, I'm I know what you're talking awake. about. There's, like, no dexterity when yeah, you first wake up. Yeah, I mean, like, up. you yeah. think about it. Yep. Are you going to be able to wake oh. up and go full force and beat somebody's ass? I don't know. I don't know. It terrifies me. I've been training for that since I was seven. It's all about adrenaline. Is it safe to assume that you probably have a couple of booby traps set up just in case some shit like that did go down? Uh, I mean, I don't for currently have my own yeah. residence, but when I do, yes. God, yes, <laughs> yes. there will be booby traps. I'm going to booby trap the it, shit out I think of my it's, house. I think it stems from, like, when I was a kid, man, uh, we, had, we actually had a guy who um, was breaking into our house, like, repeatedly. And was stealing stuff. Random things would start missing, and we had no idea where it was going, how it was happening. Remote control. So for the TV. We th- <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite part of the house. No, my, my grandpa had like like these back. big jars 
of just change that he had saved for like years and years and years. I mean, like 10, 12 jars of just full of, you know, all kinds of change, like hundreds and hundreds of dollars in his closet. And like every week or so, a freaking jar would go missing or my grandma's jewelry would go missing. And we were like, where the hell is all this shit going? So we, we ended up figuring out that um, we had a couple cars and we figured out the guy was probably uh, figuring that when the cars were gone, nobody was home. So what we did is my dad and my, my grandpa we took both the cars from the house, went to my dad's store they owned at the time, dropped the cars off. My dad brought my grandpa mm. back, dropped them off at home, went Set back. Set up a little sting operation. Yeah, and my grandpa like just kind of sat around I the like house it. and waited. And sure enough, dude, like mid-afternoon, my grandpa was in the living room and he hears the the bedroom window to his bedroom mm. opening up. He goes back there with a big stick, man. He sees, <laughs> sees some, some tweaker. His spoon wasn't that bad. You take all this time to prepare, and he's got a stick. Dude, he's got this big stick, and, and, and this, this <laughs> tweaker teenager creeping through his window. And my grandpa whacked him a couple times with a nice. stick. He ran off, and then finally was caught by the police. And, that was and great. Awesome. You know, that's something I've always but wanted to be like, able to do. Ever since then, man, I've, I've always had like this big fear of like either people like staring through the window or breaking into my house and hurt me or something. And also, not too long after that, there was, like, a homeless guy that was, because we had, like, these big woods behind my house, and there's, like, a railroad track that runs through, and there was always bums back there. Like, we, like as kids, we'd go back there and hang out, and there's always, like, porno mags and, you know, <laughs> I think every fires that are bums, still lit man. and beer cans and stuff. You know, all these bums just, you know, chilling in the woods. And, Did you uh, look through these, these porno mags? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's course. gross, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> you're a kid, you don't think about well, it. Like, I mean, right, it's just titties. like hobo semen all over everything, dude. And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah that's probably, nice. I, I probably Spike got some, some kind of funk well, from that, I'm sure. if you hung out on their couch in the woods, I'm sure you're already covered in semen A urine-filled couch? Probably shouldn't have finished that beard. You shouldn't have used those needles. Go polish off a few empties back there man <laughs> nice but yeah no uh our friend i had two friends that lived across the street from me and uh their mom caught one of the the homeless guys staring in her bathroom window one night while she was taking a shower my dad went out and you know she called him and went out checking for him and stuff but like i was always this is a weird fucking neighborhood it was like always weird people like creeping in looking through your window and shit <laughs> i just Stay out of my house, that goddammit. That sounds very weird. I would not want to... You, you had a very traumatizing childhood, that's for sure, yeah. dude. But I what think, I was going to say was that's something I've always wanted to do, how the grandpa was posted up in the house just waiting for somebody to come in. Shit. Isn't that always... Like, in mobster movies and stuff, somebody walks into a house and it's like they're just sitting in a chair with a light off that's right next to them, and they walk in, they're like, hello. <laughs> and the light comes on. We've been I've expecting always, you. I've always wanted to do that. All man. right, one more note, like... With that, after he beat him with the stick, you know, he freaking, the cops catch the guy, and they do a lineup, and they ask my dad and my grandpa to come in and identify the guy. Dude's so dumb that, like, when he when he's standing in the lineup, he could have just shut his mouth and sat there, you know, and my grandpa's, like, looking at him. As soon as they walk in, he sees my grandpa, he's like, that old man beat me! And he's like, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's the guy. That's yeah. <laughs> I think it would be pretty yeah, obvious, the guy with 20 <laughs> lashes across his face, that's the guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> the woman knots and bruises all over his shit. <laughs> my God. Uh, I wonder if any stuff. callers out there have a uh, home I, invasion Well, story. I know, man. I was actually going to say, I keep forgetting to say the number. 727-597-4022 is the number to call in. If you want to chime in on what we're talking about or just completely change the subject, that's 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 <laughs> all up two. to you, man. So, uh, yeah, it, If you don't, we'll change it for you. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> left in open water would be oh, pretty fucking left terrifying. In. Wow. See, we say the number one time and we finally get a call, dude. I mean, I got to try and stay on top of that. Okay. Uh, hello, you are balls deep with Dan right now. Uh, hello. You're allowed to talk. Dan. <laughs> Dan. Dan. Yes. Dan. Yes. Hey, man. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm Evan, a little bit sleepy. Evan. 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 In Germany right now, people. <laughs> What's up, man? So it's 3.43 in the morning over here. Jeez. I just stayed awake. Okay. To listen to you program and yes. and and I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. You oh, are you are our most devoted fan. <laughs> we love you, you, we just rang the bell for you. <laughs> you get a fucking t-shirt, man. Hell yeah, man. What's up? You got a uh, do you have a home invasion story for us? A home invasion. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have, I have I have I have broken into some houses sometimes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Has it, was it Dustin's house ever? Like, <laughs> yeah. Were you in my house? <laughs> right on, man. So how? Years, 
<laughs> How's Germany, my friend? Uh, it's pretty good, man. It's pretty fucking cold, but it's nice. It's very nice. That's um, awesome. It's been snow in the past week. Uh, it's rainy as fuck. <laughs> so everything is lushy out there. You can't even walk sometimes. But it's very nice. <laughs> but it's real nice. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> it's just lovely weather over there. <laughs> can't even function in society as a human. <laughs> it's, it's gorgeous. Awesome. <laughs> right on, man. We well, miss you. <laughs> yes, we, miss we you. do miss you, man. <laughs> miss um, your scent. You you rocking out over there? I think he hung up I on think us. He hung up. They banned <laughs> All right. Oh, well, hey, we we love well, you, Evan. Thanks for the call, brother. Uh, did uh, Frodo did you say there was another call? Oh, uh, they well, hey, if you last. tried calling a minute ago, call back. Sorry, Post. we missed you. Uh, we're still talking about um, biggest fear and being raped by clowns. So uh, <laughs> you can call in with that. <laughs> over, over to Freshest. Do you ever uh, think of anything? Go. Here we go. <laughs> Hello. Hey, what's up, man? Hello, you are balls deep with Dan right now. Hey, what's going on, guys? Marshall. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so I, I got a biggest fear for you guys. All right. So when I was about four years old, me and my dad are sitting there watching TV and whatnot, and this this movie comes on. It turns out it's The Blob. You guys ever seen that movie? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, with that crazy shit comes out of the toilet. Classic. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, yes. so ever since I watched that movie, I have been deathly afraid of toilets. I got the I'm pretty sure that's dogma. I agree with you. <laughs> no, dude, Porky's with the snake comes I, out. I'm a scrape. Fuck that. A scrape. Fuck that. I'm a scrape. Scrape's a, a scrape. word. It's Don't, a be word. Scur. <laughs> Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You're scrape. Well, that's what we're talking about. I'm afraid of talking wrong in public. That's what I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the wrong no, profession. <laughs> I'm afraid of not being able to write talk in front of people. It's a good thing you're not <laughs> afraid of being a failure. <laughs> It's especially those ones in like the Seven Elevens or those commercial toilets that like at 120 psi like suck shit down the toilet. Uh, yeah. Every time those things go off, man, I gotta like run out of the bathroom. Yeah. I'd be more yep. worried about catching something from the seat. Yeah, than the I was gonna say, toilet. are you a hoverer now, Marshall? Do you hover above? Because I know that there's chicks. Right? That's usually I mean, a chick thing. Definitely. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah. But if you're afraid I'm, to take a shit on the toilet, no, I might give it a couple inches. You know what I mean? Kind of get a head start on the opponent. He's straight upper out. decker these days. <laughs> <laughs> I've been I've been dazzled from hanging from the you know the like the walls in the bathroom trying to get as far away from the toilet as possible. Nice. nice. Wow, hanging Shooting from the rafters in. dropping an old stink pickle. I like thing it. When you yeah. <laughs> shimmy your way up two walls. <laughs> Next nice. time I see some shit lying on the floor, I'm just gonna write a note like I'm so sorry that you watched the blob when you were a child. <laughs> <laughs> Assume that I'm communicating to you. <laughs> That's uh, great. <laughs> All right, guys, you guys are doing a good show, man. All right, thank you, bro. Thank I appreciate you, the call, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. P.S. Uh, Tim, your shirt sucks. Hey, man. Oh. <laughs> yes. Fuck blue. But he's glowing. <laughs> this coming from the <laughs> guy <laughs> dropping mud monkeys from the ceiling. <laughs> the All right, later, guys. Take it See easy, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude, scary uh, movies never did it for me. I've been watching scary movies. Like, my dad yeah. was like, since I was out the womb, he's like, yeah. I watch never get to watch guts. scary movies, dude. He's called them yuck yuck movies. He took me to see Charles play yuck yuck, yuck movies. Yuck yuck <laughs> movies. I said, Dad, I want to watch yuck yuck. That I'm pretty sure school. you're too young to be watching horror movies if, if you're calling you call them yuck yuck, yuck yeah, movies. Yeah, Probably so. But I've <laughs> well, never you should been be phased, watching man. that, dude. Never been phased. He's bouncing you on his lap. Yeah, look at that knife going right now. If you shit yourself, that's the age to do it at. That's right. At least you're allowed to shit your pants at a scary movie at that age. Yeah, that's took, why they were called yuck yuck movies because you had poop in your pants yeah, all the time. He, he, he bought me. You guys remember the buddy doll? Oh my god! The buddy doll is like life size. Yeah. He buys me a buddy doll and then takes me to see Charles play in theaters. <laughs> Damn. He's making his Think own about movie. That. For yeah. real, dude. He was just trying to fuck with you, man. <laughs> all right, Freshest, you, uh, you you thought of anything for us over I got, there? I got nothing. Uh, I don't know. Being in open water really freaks me out. Mm. Being, being is there a reason why water. open water freaks you out, or just? Just the the vast endlessness of it's open being, water. In the water. We talking we talking any kind of water? water? Yeah. Now, is this cold I mean, water? Is this warm water? I be deep. I'm not scared about being. I can touch the ground. It's like, cool. Right. You're I mean, scared to be like in a really ocean, big, yeah. like a really yeah. big kiddie pool. Freaks you out. That does a little okay. bit. Okay. Yeah. Right. What about a lake though? Yeah. That's, that's I mean, yeah. Like is yeah. Water World a horror movie to you? Is that? There is that part. Like, but it really is. Is it more a fear of like creatures or just open water? Like. 
Just little the thought they're of like, drowning. Well, I don't like creatures either. So. Well, I mean, like <laughs> sea <laughs> urchins and shit. They scare the shit out of you. Yeah, it's a sea urchin. No, I mean, really you think about me. like I would be more scared in open water in the ocean than I would in like a. a Big lake. No, definitely. I'm not talking about a lake. Lakes freak like me out. Ocean. I don't know. Ocean, I don't know. Lakes like, open water, like the movie shit. Open Water, like that kind of shit. You know, being left, like on a cruise ship, kind of mm. shit like that. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Have you guys it. ever seen yeah, that YouTube yeah. video of the Great White? They're like on a cruise ship and they're all swimming, like out way out in open water. Yeah, and the Great think, White comes and takes that lady's leg. That's fucking nice. Nice. Man. Fucked up. That's, I love that shit. That's and what kind of, and first off, no real human shit, ladies. Yeah. No I want to know what kind of cruise you can go on where they're just like, oh yeah, we're like you know in the middle of freaking it's nowhere, totally jump safe. in, do it, totally safe. You want you want to yeah. Australians <laughs> ski behind the boat? Come on, let's do it. I have some spray. That would be cool. I've seen man. that before. <laughs> Skiing behind a cruise boat, that would be. Well, be I know the dolphins dude. usually jump off, in the front fucked. of it, right? So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's yeah. gonna take like two hours for them like, to turn that bitch around. Be yeah. Yeah. Down, yeah. It sucks. <laughs> Skiing out back, and there's dolphins out front. Yeah. The dolphins are fucking come to your rescue. Oh, that, no, that well, that's like always snakes. been my hope. Like if I'm ever attacked by a shark, dude, that Flipper's gonna come and save the day, man. Because that's what always happened in the episode. Anytime there was a shark. Flipper comes Did you up. See that king Boom! Of, did you see that king of the hill where Hank's swimming with the dolphins and it he gets rapes humped. him? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it's totally Fuck you, it takes him. Yeah. My little brother got bit by a dolphin. Damn, Jesus. no way. Does Who's he smell like to... fish? Huh? Does he smell like fish? No. Does he no. eat tuna? No, no, he was trying to feed one. It's and supposed then, uh, to be dolphins save tuna. Dolphins. The but it was in the wild. The I give him some credit. It was hardcore. He's like, hey. <laughs> Tried to give him some bait and uh, just... Ooh. Right down Ooh. Did he use an open hand? You're supposed. It's like feeding a horse. You're supposed to have an open yeah, hand. No, I don't know. He's probably dumb. And oh, yeah. dumb. Elijah Wood actually <laughs> has two fingers now. Really? Yeah. It's got what these is ones. They just, just CG, they just CGI. Shia LaBeouf too, actually. Really? really? The, the wow. funny, the funniest part is like afterwards, like we, we my little sister, she's now? like six, I think seven now, maybe six or seven. She uh, she was like five at the time when it happened, and and. Uh, we had like all these little beanie babies. She had the dolphin beanie baby. And she would like take it and put it on his pillow. Like after he got <laughs> nice. pillow, like just a fuck. Nice. I'm like, that's so smart. Nice. <laughs> From five year old, <laughs> she's like <laughs> giving him shit. Nice. <laughs> genius. Oh god. All right. Little so, genius. So we've covered biggest fears, obviously, and then so what would be the the scariest dream you've ever had? Clown sex. Clown sex. <laughs> Being raped by a clown. Never, that was, never, uh, I think I'm, that's a fantasy in your real, book, man. Real human yeah. shit thinks a lot about clowns. <laughs> Just about Captain Spaulding, man. He's <laughs> no, uh, scariest dream, is that what it was? Or like, yeah, have you ever had like a, a reoccurring dream that freaks the shit out of you or you anything know, like that? I've had reoccurring dreams, but they've always been good ones. Like ones that I want to go back into, and yeah, then I kind of just sure. get lucky enough. And uh, sounds really that's, nice. It's a weird story, really, because in the dream I was Arnold Schwarzenegger, who we were talking about <laughs> last time. Nice. And uh, I don't get me started you know, on Terminator, I bro. Never, I won't. <laughs> and uh, we'll oh, hey, by, by the way, before we get into this, <laughs> fucking cyber dying. number to call seven two seven five nine seven four zero two two. If you have a scariest dream or reoccurring dream you'd like to talk about, get on there. Now's the time. Dreamed about snakes for about and, a uh, whole well, summer. The, Dream yeah, about nice. snakes for a whole summer. That's pretty Freaked shitty. Me out you know what, nice. man? That sounds kind of symbolic and phallic to me. Yeah, it does sound really, very phallic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what Some, you think about? Does it? Hey, that's what you think about. How what are you talking about? I didn't say Don't that. try and put your snake <laughs> cock <laughs> fantasies on me. What that's what you snakes, think about. Kevin? <laughs> White I think snake, Maybe after seeing snake. Anaconda or something like that. I don't know what really triggered it. Something did. Yeah, you wouldn't think about Jennifer Lopez. You would just think about a giant snake. Snakes. <laughs> snakes. I don't know no snakes. Okay, snakes, so snakes. Snakes. <laughs> snakes. So Arnold over here, where where are you at then? Well, it's pretty weird, dude. This was like when I was real young. Um, you know, I'm only 12 now, but it was right. a long yeah. time ago. Uh, so I'm Arnold Schwarzenegger leading an army, <laughs> like tanks and shit. You know, not mm-hmm. like super. Sounds like every Arnold movie. Go for yeah, it. <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> And then what happens is there's, like, this crazy badass shit. You know, like, in uh, 007 when there's, like, this super hot bad girl spy right. or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Natasha. it's like that. She, exactly, yeah, shows up, and then, you know, we start doing our thing. And this is before I had even seen a boob. So, oh, wow. so this my is dream like pure got imagination. taken away. Exactly, like, yeah. right when the boob came in. And then I went in back into the dream, and... Uh, she was like this weird Chitara cheetah lady, but it was the same person, and we ended up going at it, man. We did I'm, it. I'm curious. I didn't even know what it was at the time, if, but I knew that we had did it. Right. If nice. you'd never seen a boob before in your life, what did the boob look like in yeah. your dream? 
Well, it was like cheetah prints. And were they, they square? Mad. It like it wasn't. Was I'm there a nipple? You, che- were no. they square? There was no, no, no like nipple. It was like I figured. exactly what you would see on so like it's a like, uh, from any woman just wearing clothing. It's like okay, it's like a curve. There's some, a shape. And then some I was weird like, yeah, hentai that's dream. The, it was weird. <laughs> that's a that is exactly some hentai <laughs> shit. <Wow. laughs> Wow. All that okay. fucking Dragon Ball Z, man. Like, <laughs> Beautiful. So, really me Arnold, titty fucking cheetah boob bitch over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> it's it's kind of scary. We got a call. We got a call. Uh, hello, you are balls deep with Dan. Hello. <laughs> uh, could you turn your radio down? <laughs> yeah. Hello, you are balls deep. <laughs> you fucking asshole. Oh, no. Is this more? Is this more? Oh, God. Bad sport more. Bad sport more. Poor sport more. <laughs> I had I had a little opinion in, you know, on your topic. Ugh. Fear, greatest fears. Uh-huh. Yes. My greatest goddamn fear is you assholes getting a fifth show. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can understand I, that completely. I'm surprised they haven't kicked us off yet. They will let you guys soak the minds of these assholes. Of these children out here, not these assholes. You're the assholes. <laughs> He's so I'm enraged he can't talk he, straight. Whose yeah. idea was it to give you a show? I want to know. More, how high are you I, right now? Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> if you're talking numbers? to us, who's running the meth lab? Yeah. <laughs> Get to work, bitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? What? Are you accusing me of a crime? <laughs> Is that what you're doing? Are you accusing me of a crime? Uh, Who the if, hell just cackled in the background? If the shackles <laughs> fit, <laughs> Bob. <laughs> More, what? more. I'm just that, curious. This is the second time. <laughs> How old are you, Mort? What? <laughs> Mort, turn your hearing aid. Yeah. How old are you, Mort? I'm 56 years old. 56. How many more. beers deep are you right now? Mom, get off the phone. <laughs> more, sweetheart. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you again. What? Mom, you're, Mom, you're, you're, you're not paid. It's nine fifty-six in the evening. It's time, time to go to bed. It's time to change time. the pampers and you go to bed. I'm not going to repeat right. myself. Thank you for calling, Mort. We love you. Bye. Well, that was Mort. That was Mort. My God, that was Mort again. Yeah. Oh, what Mort's a great deep call. Shit. I think we Good saved him a little bit. His mom was really. He was about to get in serious trouble. If Mort, if Mort's fifty-six, how old is mom? Good question. Good question. Sounded. Young she's man. Sounded, she's sounded very she's younger, younger than more from 50 years Uh-oh, ago. we got another call. Yeah. Another call, huh? All right. Hello, you are balls deep with Dan right now. Hey, what's up, guys? You guys are killing it right now. Uh, I just wanted to add to your uh, biggest nightmare uh, discussion. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, I think my uh, worst nightmare would be uh, being alone in a room with Mort. Yeah. <laughs> very good night very yeah. good call That's yep. good. I don't think anybody would want that no I've never seen him before but he probably has like the face of a clown and like <laughs> the boobs of a cheetah oh which sounds very very scary don't get him yeah. wet don't feed him after midnight <laughs> he's got an Austrian accent <laughs> get out more, more sounded a little extra gay this week. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he he yeah. did. Oh. He was a little flamboyant. We learned two <laughs> things right. about Mort this week. That okay. he's, <laughs> he's 56, and uh, his gay. mother is a raging asshole. Hey. <laughs> um, are, you, are you still there? <laughs> nope. Okay. No. All right. Rock and roll. We're, we're going to have to figure out a way. Are they hanging up on, up on us, or are we hanging up on them? Oh, beautiful. Oh, cool. That's, beautiful. Awesome. that's good. No, that's the way we like that's it. Way to go. Just call in, get it in, get out, man. <laughs> I like that. Just like every That's too bad because I was going <laughs> to. <laughs> the weirdest thing on the list tonight, I was actually going to ask that caller Would you rather burp confetti or fart glitter? Mm. What? <laughs> I think that's I a no-brainer. Can't, I can't. It's a no-brainer. Is it a no-brainer, <laughs> really? That's a no-brainer. It that's doesn't seem like a no-brainer. I'm going to confetti all day. I just feel really? like food wouldn't taste as good anymore. Glitter coming out your ass is like a billion tiny little razor blades. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Not only... You get to burp into open air. You're farting yeah. into your pants. You're Confetti. cleaning True. that shit Conf- every fucking day. Yeah, but Confetti you know what? Soft. How much of a party trick would that be, dude? You're at a party. You just <laughs> drop trowel. <laughs> glitter! <laughs> just glitter everywhere, man. What happens yeah. if you slip, though? <laughs> what, if, what if you glart? What? <laughs> 
It's yeah. like a, <laughs> yeah, what a happens glitter. then? I mean, it's do like you... a bedazzled piece of shit that just flies out. <laughs> There's rhinestone turd that just comes out, sequins all over it. There's okay. Be glitter all over the walls. It's gonna be. You horrible. can sell that, dude. Ed Hardy made a big name for it's himself. It's like one of Michael shit. Jackson's yeah. gloves. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you shit a Michael Jackson glove. That's... Dude, Michael Jackson's fart gloves on eBay. There He's are like, children oh, out there shitting Michael Jackson gloves, and that is not funny. goddammit. it! <laughs> How dare you? Wow. We had a children. Wow. Oh my god, uh, dude. All right. See, really I, I told you, man, it would be a good thing to ask you guys. Can we go to the verses? Huh? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not at verses yet. No, we can talk verses if you want. Okay, yeah. Something we're Let's um, just do one. We'll just do, do one. one. We'll do one. one. Okay, do we'll one. do one. Wait, verses. Got... Well, we'll oh, oh, yeah, we actually have sound effects for this. Okay. Yeah. Um That's our first sound effect. Um we're trying to uh Think of new things we can do on the show all the time. You know what I mean? Like uh, a format that we can always use. And one of the uh, things we want to do is a segment called Verses. And it's just random things that verse each other. Uh, if so you have a better <laughs> idea, it's call it. It's right. pretty self explanatory. We got a call. call. Huh? No. That's not even a question. Do we got a call? Hello. Welcome. Your ball's deep with Dan right now. Hey guys, uh, I don't think you touched on the uh, farting glitter in the uh, Murphy's <laughs> Confetti. Uh, See, I told you, we could have spent a lot more right time on that. that. That could use the rest of the show. <laughs> okay, right. I Touché. feel like um, farting confetti or uh, farting glitter seems pretty homosexual. I would agree. <laughs> I mean, very homosexual. Maybe actually, that's why yeah. you're farting glitter in the first place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like it's probably a gay dude that's probably going to be farting glitter. Possibly. <laughs> okay, well, most what, likely. Point. Why would you? Um, is it, is it well, just damn. because of your homophobia that you don't want to fart glitter? I mean, what's the pros? Well, I feel of, like what's the, the pros gay of people burping are usually confetti? Trans glitter, or are they not? Am I, am I wrong? People here? do wear oh, yeah, body yeah. glitter sometimes, but I've also known that straight people wear wear. Allegedly they don't shit well, You know, really hot girls wear, wear glitter all the yeah. time too. Yeah. So, yeah. but what are they doing in your butt? <laughs> hey man, to each his That's own. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry. Hey, I, I, I don't know. I'm just, I just feel like I'm not a fan of farting glitter. I would definitely choose to burp confetti. Okay, what? if you could burp confetti, how would you use that to your advantage? Who gives a shit? You could burp confetti. <laughs> All I know is I'm not farting glitter, so I'm happy. Good hey, for I'm, you, man. Well, I personally don't feel like dropping trap all the time. Just, hey, watch me blow a finger out of my ass. You want to see a funny trick? <laughs> Whenever I have an excuse to drop trowel, you know what I mean? That's a good thing. And that's just like, <laughs> that that takes the cake. Like, why are you taking your pants off? No way, you gotta see this. I, I fart glitter. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta check this out. Watch me spread my cheeks and blow glitter in my ass. It's not gay, I, swear. <laughs> I feel like you could make a lot of money. You think that way. you right? think your girlfriend would be asking you to fart on, like all the time? She'd be like, "Hey, yeah, baby, you just need a little glitter." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going out tonight. I want to look special. Need a little sprinkle, you know? Exactly, dude. You can decorate the whole house in five minutes. Why not? You know how the girls like to like spray the perfume and then walk through it? You just blow a cloud out. Exactly. You just fart in her face and bail. But I have a question. Greeting Chicks cards. usually wear glitter along with eyeshadow, and we know that stink eye. In <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You fart eye. right. The fart particles. You know yeah, they saying? give you pink like, eyes. Well, they yeah, they have so. to close their eyes. You just crop dust them. You know what I mean? You well, which like is right the less of two room. evils? You know, you got a little pink eye, but you're sparkly as fuck. You know, which is yeah. <laughs> right. Well, that's what I'm saying, man. Your girl's getting ready to go out to the club. You She's like, "Hey, hit that. me with some of that fart glitter," and you're like, <laughs> "There you go, baby, go hit it." And you know nobody's gonna hit on her. That's right, because she's gonna stink like fart. Exactly. No one's gonna. She's got a fucked up uh, shit eye and it's glitter a- everywhere. You know? That's not something I'm going for. Pink yeah, she she smells pink well, you know, the old shit if you're if you're farting glitter, does that make the fart smell better? Does it smell like perfume? Because no, no, that's a win win. Horrible as shit is just sparkly. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're, you know, we're not shooting rainbows out of our ass here. It's just glitter. But I mean, still, you know, birds. What, that's it. You would though. shit skittles if you farted glitter. You would shit skittles. That's, that's what it is, man. This, Taste though. the rainbow. Think about this. If you fart okay, glitter. well, see, that's a totally different story. That's if I can totally fart different. glitter, but also shit skittles, I'm definitely down for that. Fart All right, right then. That's what I'm so talking about. You actually, got your own candy dispenser right there. Are you gonna eat the skittles? Exactly. Shit in a cup has skittles all day. It's a great deal to me, man. Wow. Would you? Would you? Eat the Skittles from your own ass? Is that what you're implying oh, right now? Oh, definitely, man. It's my ass. It's my <laughs> Skittles. <laughs> nice. Wait, okay. I've got an extra question for you. This is bonus, bonus question. Ring the bell. Bonus oh, question. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bonus round. All right. So you've broken through the barrier, sir. If you had a clone, would you fuck it? Because that's like <laughs> masturbation. You know what I mean? Wow. No, I'm, I'm with you. I mean, you did jump there a little bit. I no, mean, that I was mean, like well, a quantum that's, leap. That's to, like, that was a lot. 
incest and masturbation at the same time. Yeah, but I think that, that's a huge difference between yeah, farting glitter and then I fucking myself no, with no, a clown. No, no, like, I don't, you're don't eating know where that I don't see the difference. You're I don't eating see the your difference. own shit is what we <laughs> talked about. <laughs> eating your own shit and fucking yourself. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I think it's similar. I'm still going to go with burping confetti. It's less offensive. We'll see. Right, I'm this. actually going to bail. And I'm not going to get away from you. Thanks for the call. We appreciate it, man. Yeah, keep going. You're doing great. Have fun with those shitty skittles. Thank you for the call. Man. Good luck cleaning up all that confetti. Some. Thank some... you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Think about this, though. If you <laughs> fart glitter, you literally just took away any ability you have at lighting a fart. Because mm. glitter's it's not true. flammable. Oh, it's true. Glitter's well, then not you flammable. Got, like, Is that like what you take pride in? Then you Absolutely. got like little <laughs> golden embers glo- glowing in the in the Do we That's night true. Farts. But will it ignite? <laughs> you know, the ignition <laughs> source is the gas. I don't like my parts today, mm. I'm going to die. I see the conundrum there. What if yeah. methane comes out along with the glitter and that you got fiery glitter and Fiery shit, glitter. Yeah. But that, I now mean. you putting on shows and shit? You glitter know I mean? floats. Then you're talking about a fire Okay, hazard. you know what? I'm sorry. I want to uh, go back to this fucking your own clone thing because. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. Uh, <laughs> You've obviously given this some thought. Uh, yeah, this uh, has the real been human discussed shit, in so. the past. Has it? If you want to know my answer, do you? I do. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I think just... everybody wants to know your answer. It's to not be like honest. it's a talk show. Right? <laughs> yeah, no, we don't talk <laughs> about things. Yeah. Well, you know, dude, I've always said no. I wouldn't fuck myself. <laughs> no. I would not. You're like, no. Put, you're like putting the collar <laughs> in that boat. Well, like, no, you totally would fuck yourself, well, right? It's, I it's justifiable he, at this he's point. He's eating his own shit. I thought he was <laughs> it's Skittles. Fuck. Come on. You know what? It might not taste like Skittles. There's, there's residue, I thought they were Skittles. Yeah. Other things I just had a around, big mess know? of Skittles on the way here, and I, <laughs> I couldn't imagine them being covered in shit. I would shit. say that if I wiped my ass and it was like multicolored, I would be pretty happy. I, um, I would laugh a little. I would call. A I doctor. would see a doctor. Yeah, <laughs> immediately. Like, hey, doc. Uh, Wouldn't be well, shit in the rainbow here. Over here. <laughs> Are they primary? <laughs> I think oh, I good. would definitely have sex with my own clone, man. Really? Oh, see, yeah, I have dude. two questions. Two well, I mean, questions. Would you have to be that hot? What? You never like? Does that mean you're gay in front of a mirror before? Same thing. I have not. And uh, <laughs> liar. So, I, I swear. You lie. Come on, man. Every I guy does points. it, stands and no. flexes and tries to look all manly and I shit. Wouldn't, like Arnold. I wouldn't, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't fuck my own clone. I but think I you... would use my own clone in a three way. I was yeah. going to say, you would make ah. sweet, gentle, tender. Because then you don't have to worry about it. It's not some other dude. It's you. It's like, hey, you had five. Well, the three way is different because you're not touching tips. You know what I Are you? I mean, <laughs> are, are you? No. Are, you? No. are you like. No. Okay. The swords I mean, play. things could happen and it could slip Trans- somewhere the moment, you know through what a mean? transition, but it's not intentional. If you no, were I in could... a three way with your own clone, would you be in the vagina while he's in the butthole? So your ball. Are like, you know, is that okay with that's your I, I mean, it's it's my dick, so I guess it really wouldn't <laughs> but matter. But it's not. Okay. See, that's yeah, my see, thing. Like, I would I be okay with uh, uh, doing things with my own clone, but I think I would get insanely jealous if he was involved. <laughs> oh, I, I would be like, Duke, we're touching my woman. He'd be hey, like, bro. it's my woman. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> No. I wouldn't. <laughs> no, he's Might like, I'm about gay. it. About it, about it. I Give me a threesome with my clone. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Give me a threesome with my clone. <laughs> okay. So there you go, man. Hey, that's a good versus right there. Who would win, your clone or you? Me, all day. Oh, you the think original. so? Come oh, on, dude, I'm, the yeah, original. The original copy. Yeah, but he would think he's copy, the original, okay? so he would. Yeah, yeah well, he'd be fucking wrong. I'm the carbon copy. <laughs> he, he's got nothing. Mm. He's got nothing. It's like six day. I got one of those things in my eye. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Well, I mean, like a copy of a copy. You know, as it goes, it it, it gets you know less and less. Whoa. Well, yeah. Right. Like the original. So I mean, he obviously would be lesser. Yeah, than I saw me. that. Yeah. But he was the first said. copy, so he would be. Like Pretty close to you. He would be you. close, right. but like still. Like, if you made a copy of him, oh, yeah, he'd get his oh, ass yeah, he'd be retarded, you know? <laughs> well, what if, you're, but, what if your clone is somehow immortal? You can't kill it. Whoa. How, how does, does that happen? How does that it's happen? It's a clone. How does then that I would, happen? Then I would want to be the clone. Well, then so like a robot you lock clone? it in a fucking concrete box and drop it in the ocean. <laughs> Jumanji, <laughs> bitch. Yep, <laughs> Jumanji style. <laughs> there you go. Or uh, Transformers. Getting rid of... Uh, if you did, yeah, you got Shaun of the Dead. Put it in the shade. Put it in the shade. Just play video games with it, you know what I mean? Okay, so after you, <laughs> after you, uh, after you put, fuck put, yourself, after you fuck yourself, after you so fuck yourself, put your uh, put your clone's feet in a bucket of concrete, drop them to the bottom of the ocean. That brings me to uh, uh, <laughs> like mobster shit. If you <laughs> if you were a uh, criminal mastermind, man, what would what would be your uh, your racket, your criminal racket? What would what would 
Uh, not you then? Okay. Uh, real human shit. Uh, yeah. Man, like, would you run like chicken fights, dog fights? Would you would you rob a bank? Would Gun you... smuggler. What? Gun smuggler. Drug? Nice. Gun smuggler. Lord of War style okay, shit. Okay, there you nice. go. Nice. nice. So that means are you going like then into Africa and third world countries? I got another guy to do that, but you know. Okay. <laughs> you know. So you're not the smuggler. You run the well, smuggling you know, racket. Yeah, the big guys, okay. they don't smuggle. Yeah, you're just okay. like the sales rep for the smuggling. The yeah, I did it once. I gotcha. did it once. Okay. okay. <laughs> I got the connection started. All right. Well, I mean, were we talking big guns, bazookas, like oh. pellet guns, BB guns? No. Assault rifles. Assault, Assault rifles. rifles. Okay. Wow. That's fine. All right. They're trying to ban American those. made? Hopefully. Yeah, right. So yeah. they're worth more now. See, I'm doing good. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Double win. How about you? I got to say, if I was the leader of a criminal organization and I'm just chilling in my fucking fucking nice ass pad on a crushed velvet fucking chair and a throne smoking a cigar mm. you know I got to say that I would probably be the guy respond cuz I I love animals I, so I'm not going <laughs> to say an you're, you're, not, you're not going to do a dog fight I'm, so. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that I would probably <clears throat> just Bump fights? I have to think that I would run a whole fucking company just full of different hitmen for different kinds Ooh, of people. There you like go. that's how I like because I just hate people. Like, <laughs> like you find the hits, you you're the one who like slides them the picture on the desk and is like, "This is your next target." Yeah, that's exactly. what you would do. Yes, that's me. And then you would just collect that's, mad money for yep. it. That's nice. Uh, I mean, I'd, I'd break them off obviously because then they're gonna come after me and. You know right, I mean, yeah, but... so you would hire them to kill someone, and then once the job's done, you'd give them, like, 25 still... Gs, and then kill them and take the money back? With all those yeah, killers. there you go, good, Grand Theft good Auto kind good. of shit. Nice. <laughs> I just picked that horror. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Okay, Baker, what about you, man? I would, uh... I would canvas neighborhoods and sell people windshields. <laughs> <laughs> That's very horrible. That's, uh, That's a dangerous. <laughs> I'd turn a hell of a profit doing it. It's, it's dangerous, <laughs> I can tell you. It's a dangerous business, man. No, I would probably like... Uh, I would I would have like this, uh, this bullshit kit and set up like dress like a Ghostbuster and tell you you had mold in your house. Nice. And then it was going to be like... X amount of money to get rid of all the mold, and then you'd never see me again. So you're like a straight <laughs> scam artist, oh, yeah. fucking scam like, artist. Oh, yeah. yeah, grifter, I think is what yeah. they call it. Nice. Good word. Grifter. Thank you. What about you, Dustin? What would you be doing over there, mob man? Um, Probably do uh, something similar to like uh, like office space, you know, take, take money from big corporations, big accounts, yeah. small uh, amounts over it, time. Embezzling. Embezzling. Yeah. embezzling. You would be an artist. That's the word. An embezzler. <laughs> nice. I would be embezzling this shit. Embezzling. <laughs> <laughs> right on. I think I would probably run a brothel. Nice. I would have just like nice. the biggest whorehouse in town. I'd be your number you one. I would never whore. dip into my own stock though, but I would. Don't lie. Uh, <laughs> I would own All a Steve's big whorehouse. Whore yeah, that's right. It's <laughs> like you know, like the Bunny Ranch or whatever. But yeah, it'd be <laughs> balls deep. That's a good one, dude. That's what. It's place like new meaning called. to dipping into the two. <laughs> yes. yes. Yes, sir. There would be all all different types of ages and ethnicities. You know what? what you, do you, you know what's really weird? I heard on the news the other day. Uh, People somehow, I don't exactly know how it works. You can look it up, uh, you guys at home, but check this out. And if you find any information, call in and let me know because I'm interested. Yeah, the, the number to call thing. is 727-597-4022. I saw this on the, the news the other day. Um, there's all these these guys that are going and buying like shit tons of Tide laundry detergent. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, yeah, they're, a lot of laundry they're, to do. They're, yeah. they're yeah. buying all this detergent, and they're, Dirty you know, <laughs> they're turning around and using some kind of weird chemical in it to make some new drug or something, you know? Okay. No. Bath salt. The dumbest salt. shit ever. They're taking it, and a, a twenty dollar bottle of Tide you can get at the grocery store. They're taking it and somehow being able to sell it on the black market for up to eighty dollars a <laughs> bottle for laundry <laughs> detergent. For laundry. Why the fuck would you buy That's an eighty bottle? Uh, like an eighty dollar bottle of of detergent on the black market when you go to the store. If Tide everywhere is eighty dollars a they're bottle, they're cutting it with gain. What That's what's mad? going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. But no, I'm so confused. I think I missed out. I, the TV. I was in a doctor's office, so I could only hear half the story. So if anybody knows what the fuck that's about, please wow. let me know. But yeah, that was, wow. I was like, what the fuck? Tide's big this year, man. And there's actually yeah. these all these you know stores that are like locking up their detergents with. What? Well, hey, you know, with all the things <laughs> fucked up going on in the black market nowadays, I gotta say, making the world a cleaner place is probably a pretty <laughs> good a thing. Good I'm not gonna rag on it, man. If they're gonna make a little bit of profit off people doing their laundry, 
That's fine. Because I think laundry mats are a little overpriced nowadays. That's just my thought. Laundry mats are always real sketchy. You ever I've, noticed that? I think you should be paid to go into a laundry been, mat, goddamn it. Man. I've never been in a laundry mat and just like, <laughs> hmm, this is a comfortable setting. <laughs> I feel very good in there. I've never I'll stay here for a while. enjoyed being I'm in a laundry mat. I'm always like head on a swivel. And yeah. like, you know what I mean? Dude, Watch the dryer because someone's who's taking my quarters. Who's taking my quarters? <laughs> Dude, greatest investment ever: bar slash laundry. Oh, it okay. exists. Did you know that it exists? Oh yeah, because there's no nothing... does. Yeah, laundry oh, bar. They're shit. in most Just laundry bars. Marbles. Awesome no, name. Good name. Very fitting. <laughs> yeah, because that's my thing. There's nothing to do in a laundry mat. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I always take my guitar, laundry. man. Just sit there and play for a couple Gambling. hours or mm-hmm. whatever. Like put, sit and put a couple slot machines in there. It yeah. pisses me well, off, man. Orders it's already. Like, everything is like set different. It's like this dryer will dry a load in like 15 minutes, and this one takes like 45 minutes to dry the same load. And I, I don't like that. <laughs> I like my dryers to be at the same heat level. I don't That's understand. That's just kind of right? that, dryer. <laughs> that actually was a question. I was raising my hand like I was. Oh, I thought you were high five me like, <laughs> fuck yeah, dryers, that, man. Fuck yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 I fucking love dryers. I will <laughs> Don't say that. Don't we all? <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, put a blanket in there, man. Fucking take it out 20 minutes later. That's the best. But, uh, <laughs> uh, can we get the number one more time? Because there's people that do want to call in. 727... 727- Five nine seven four zero two two. I have it memorized now, but yeah. I'm pretty sure seven two seven five nine seven four zero two two. Call in and tell us right. about your uh, laundry experience. Pretty sure it's posted right under the video you're watching at home too. Yeah. Oh really? So, <laughs> but uh, Tim, that. on that note, it's I have smart. to disagree. Nobody wants to talk about laundry. Boxers though. right out of the dryer. Mm. That is like, uh, boom. That is like heaven's warm caress on your nutsack. <laughs> yeah. It is just yeah. beautiful. well. That would be boxer briefs, wouldn't it? Because boxers are kind of well, just like. They I don't gotcha. really, you know. <laughs> I gotcha. There's no cradling there. I gotcha. I'm more of a, a straight boxer man. I don't really dig the briefs. They bunch. I don't like that. Mm. But um, yeah, you, like, you like to just be out there. Yeah, you I like, like it. Just, just let I, like, it I, just, you know. I think it's less of a cradle then, though. You know what I mean? It's more of just like it a, is, but the warmth factor is okay. still there. And it was I mean, like yeah. it was more of a metaphorical cradle okay. than an actual an air cradle. Yeah, T- tidy whities are comfortable yeah. for about five minutes. Hello, your balls deep with Dan right now. You might Hello? be underwater. Hello. <laughs> yes, is this 1025 the bone? Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Yes. Sure, your ball's deep with Dan right now. Oh, all right. Oh, my God. I'm kind of starstruck right now. Just give me a second. <laughs> drink it in, Sonny. Drink it in. I'm still trying to, like, gather myself right drink now. Drink it in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Who are you Hey, if you were on 1025, they would have hung up on you by now. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Drew. <laughs> Hey, that's up? pretty cool, man. This, this whole setup, man. I'm watching you guys from the iPhone freaking driving right now. What? Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> hey, man, you should hang up. <laughs> that's illegal. Don't do that. <laughs> that's very, very dangerous. You're not driving anywhere near the studio, He's are not you? affiliated with us. <laughs> We're about to hear our first right death on, did on you, Did you want to... <laughs> yeah, <I know>, <laughs> did you like, want to chime in on the uh, the laundry or... Yeah, that. yeah, the blanket in the laundry or the uh, the blanket in the dryer. I I totally dig that. About twenty minutes, and then get some like hot milk. Nice. <laughs> milk. He's a kitty cat. We're <laughs> then, talking. To. But wait, then you just dirtied your blanket up that you just washed and got all warm and everything. Uh, <laughs> no, the hot, the hot milk's to pour blankets. on his bitch tits. Yes, <laughs> yes. Lather it up. Although you know, you drink a glass of warm milk, that's supposed to kind of settle you down. And I like to, to use half. It makes me nauseous. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just get you a bowl of cereal, man. Call it square. If your milk ain't chocolate, you ain't doing it right. I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> nice. All right. Any, anything right. else you want to add? Parting uh, thoughts? How long you guys been doing this, man? Uh, about uh, two years. <laughs> <laughs> two years? Yeah, two years. Yep. We're four, killing it. Four weeks. Four shows. This is the fourth show. This We're in our fourth f- season. <laughs> we- <laughs> wow, that's pretty badass, man. You, you got to, like, rent it out? Like, you got to, like, pay no, for No, no, no. They, like- they pay us mad money. We yeah, pay for it in blood money. and semen. Millionaires, Not dude. mixed together. <laughs> you, you think I'll be doing this for free? <laughs> Well, who, who do I need to talk to to try to get you guys to replace, like, uh, Nick and Artie at night? Some <laughs> bullshit that they fucking wow. put on 102.5 now. Um, the fucking man. I guess call 102.5 and tell them, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Tell them to tune in to, to Balls Deep with Dan every Monday night and check it out. Yeah, dude, we got we to gotta get the word out there. Word up. Word. We're taking over. 
<laughs> All right, man. Hey, y'all hey, have a good night, man. I'm going to let y'all go. You too. You too. Thanks Don't for the crash call, that brother. Greyhound bus. That's right. Hang Peace up your buddy. phone, man. <laughs> Drive safe. It's like I'm driving a bus full of people. <laughs> 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 Oh man, <laughs> we we got no mount. We can't hang <laughs> yeah, on. Nothing. Cool, we hung up. All right. Uh, where four years, we? man. Four, four years strong. Five minute high strong. five. Huh? Five minute high five. Five. Is it already? Five minute high five. Holy five shit! Minute? This is bullshit. Wow. Okay. Five, I was late. Five minute turkey. That's all right, man. Wow. Yeah. Hey, we did it again. We made. Yeah. Hey, quick, one show. more, one more verses. Okay. Uh, one more verses would be. Um, That's not even a question. No, 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 no. Um. <laughs> Nunchucks versus a bow staff. Bow staff. Bow staff. Nunchucks. Bow staff. Nunchucks, dude. Bo are you staff. kidding me? Michelangelo uh, all the way. So I've you, got you the think... distance. Oh, my God. Bullshit, dude. Bow okay. staff all day. First fired. question. Fired. You're all fired, first dude. First question. <laughs> Just pick which Ninja Turtle, you really. You don't I mean, pay come on. me. <laughs> you don't See, pay me. The first question is, like, who is running the bow staff and who's running the nunchucks? Are we talking about, like, the best bow staff They're ever? They're both Bruce well, Lee. Well, Dan and I had a, you know. Yeah, let, I mean, let's just get down to it. We have a call. We had... Uh, uh, all, right, all right, all right. Uh, let's see what they say. Hello, your ball's deep with Dan. Nunchuck or bow staff? Hey, here's the deal, man. Nunchuck, you're going for a finesse. You're going for flair. <laughs> you know, you're a flamboyant asshole. But we're talking about range here. That's what <laughs> That's we're really talking about. There's a bow staff all the way. There's no doubt about it. What? Thanks, exactly. Back, all right. Bow staff all day. Fuck that, You're man. holding a bow staff. Go. I'm going to hit your hands with a nunchuck, I'm telling you, dude, bitch. the guy's going to do the whole wrap the dude. nunchucks around the bow staff, rip it out of your hand, and... No, I mean, if you're using dude. nunchucks, I'm assuming you got two of them, so... Wait, why do you get two? Because, man, that's the way it goes. That is nunchucks. Um, so yeah, I seconds think, or minutes? I think they're a paired <laughs> weapon. You can have two bow staffs they're, if you want. Oh, okay. It's not going to yeah. help. Go ahead, take two bow well, staffs, I'll man. throw one at you. I'm just <laughs> saying. I'll just use the other one. You know why people don't use nunchucks? Because it's over too quickly. That's why. They want to enjoy the fight for a little bit. <laughs> See, Bullshit. I think I think if Bow you... staff to the side of the face, you're out. Yeah. With Done. the bow staff to the You're not even going to get that unless you throw the fucking nunchuck at me, oh, which exactly. is not going to do shit. Yeah. Unless I got to agree, man. Heavy. I'll challenge anyone right now. Bow staff versus nunchuck. I'll take bow staff. Let's see okay. What Here's the deal. No you come down to the studio like, right now. Like, you bring your bow staff. staff. And fuck I got you some up. nunchucks. <laughs> and secondly, the guy in the, in the t shirt that looks like a giant tennis ball, he was going in for the high five earlier. <laughs> yeah. That was totally a high five, yeah, right? Was, yeah, you, you can't oh, no, put your hand up like that. <laughs> right. I, think, I think with the bow staff, you always have that option to just snap it and have two yeah, weapons. Yeah, dude, then you got you know, snub you nose. Uh, snub nose, twice the fighting power. Yeah. Yeah, so you, you got, got like two fucking things. throwing spears in your hand at that point. And generally, a bow staff's Boom. like wrapped stick. in something. You could like unwrap it and just start swinging the stick. Proceed. All right, we got another call. Lots of calls uh, tonight. I love hello, it. Hello, your yeah, balls man. deep with Dan. Nunchuck or bow staff? I'm gonna call shenanigans here because it's clearly got to be a trisection staff all day. <laughs> okay, no, that's, no, no, that's, that's still that's 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 between You can just be wholesale ass right all day there. long. I that still... puts you right back into the nunchuck status, man. Yeah, bro. Go that's back to true. the dojo, do a little research, and that's then right. call us back. <laughs> no, both staff. No, that's pure madness. Pure madness. <laughs> it is definitely a staff, but you actually get the bon ben uh, benefits nunchuck. Well, then why not have sexes, just... Bro. Plus we're not talking about creating a hybrid there. here. I mean, <laughs> we're, uh, we're talking about... That defeats the point. That's right. This is a versus. This is not a how can we make them friends kind of thing. <laughs> if that's the case, I'm building like, some four-foot we... nunchucks. And just... Ooh, bam. <laughs> we can make it better. Yeah. 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 Stronger. Faster. There you go. See? He's got it. He knows what's up. Oh, Swing that shit from both ends and you know just whip you it around your, and hit him in the face. Your, take your tripod stop there. Quick. I'm going to use my one Chinese star. Boom. Headshot. Hey, game hey, over. That's four an object. Well, Jesus, do we have a full on arsenal well, here? He's, or he's, we just well, he's bringing in a completely different weapon, too, the man. The question, sir, Because I can hit with a blow dart nunchucks. from, you know, there you go. So what yeah. across the, the way. Next shot. Well, he's done. throwing Both a star. Staff, <laughs> nunchucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Donatello. Michelangelo. <laughs> exactly, right? Who would win in a fight? Donatello or Michelangelo? My vote's Michelangelo, dude. Is Any there pizza have... involved? Is there pizza involved? <laughs> Mikey would probably get fucked up because Donatello is the smart one. So yeah. he would just outsmart yeah. the yeah. superior weapon, which yeah. is the nunchuck. But, but still, both staff. We're not talking the nunchucks here. We're talking the weaponry. <laughs> okay. Both staff wins. All right, All right we'll give it to both staff. Claire Fuck winner, both staff. All right, All man. Right. That's All about right. going to do I can settle for that. Okay. Thank you for the call, man. We appreciate man. the call. Thank That's, you. Uh... <laughs> I love you. I think we're going to end on that note that uh, Bo Staff kicks Nunchuck's ass, which wait, I still wait. don't agree with. But, I uh, don't either. Wait, Final, okay. Final vote. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got. 
We got Marcy over there. All right, I'm, I'm going to go with the bow staff. Here. Yes. Fuck you. Directly yes. from the mouths of babes. Oh, okay, one more call. call. <laughs> one more call. Hello, your ball's deep with Dan. Dan, got to save all the show, and I'm totally with you, man. Numchucks all the way. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Frodo, if you could just talking about. Dude, go ahead and hang up. You get up. inside, man. Shit's over. That's what I'm saying. Wait, Wait, a minute. Minute. Close, dude. Wait a minute. Is this Mort's uh, life partner, Sebastian? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello? All right. Thank you for the call. Oh, kitten tits. You tell me just like it is. Oh, <laughs> I knew it. I All knew right. It. Thank you for the call, man. Hey, that's going to do it for tonight's show. We appreciate everyone calling in. Thank you to all of the lovely people who have joined me on the show. Next time, call faster. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Um, shout out to uh, McCabe's Irish Pub, downtown Bradenton. Old Main Pub, downtown Bradenton. Slick's Garage. Where Slick's will... Garage in Palmetto. And, where uh, will we go tonight? And where will we go tonight.com, man. Make sure and check out uh, Sherry and um, Mark Ski's show, uh, Guitars, Sorry. Bars, and Local Stars. <laughs> right here on the Talk One Network. What time is their show again? Mondays at 2.30. Mondays at 2.30, yes. so make sure and check them out. Also, uh, check out the uh, Muffin Chuckers Band Camp. No, there you Mama go. Son's Love Shack. Give them a <laughs> shout out. Hell yeah. All right, guys, until next time, thank you for watching. See you.